For News OK TV, I'm Dave Morris for Wednesday, October 31st, 2012. Happy Halloween, everyone. Here's some headlines you can find today on NewsOK.com. Police are investigating a possible machete attack. Officers were called out to a neighborhood near Northwest 50th and Portland early Wednesday morning after a man says he was attacked by another man wielding a machete. The man who was injured said he heard a crash outside his house and saw another man backing a pickup out of his neighbor's driveway. The victim says he tried to stop the suspect from getting away. I was in the grass where you are, actually, and I backed up, tripped over a root, and as soon as I hit the ground, he came at me both hands in a down swinging motion. I put my arm up, blocked him, and that's pretty much it. Oklahoma's Attorney General Scott Pruitt sent out a warning about national charity scams. Pruitt says officials in several states reported instances of scammers calling households claiming to be with a hurricane-related charity. The Attorney General advised Oklahomans to reject high-pressure pitches, avoiding giving cash donations, and be suspicious when asked for banking or credit card information over the phone. Honeywell launched a new project at Tinker Air Force Base. It will save the base millions of dollars and create new jobs in the area. Honeywell will oversee hundreds of energy efficiency and water saving upgrades on the base. The nearly $81 million project is the Air Force's largest domestic energy retrofit to date. Changes to the base will help Tinker meet the mandated 30% energy reduction goal outlined in a presidential executive order. In addition, the improvements will help create and sustain local jobs. More than 500 Honeywell workers and tradespeople expected on site during the peak of construction. Kevin Durant broke ground on his new restaurant in Bricktown. Restaurateur Hal Smith and developer Randy Hogan joined Durant in making the start of the construction. The young NBA star is a 25% owner in the $5 million project and hopes to be at the new eatery as much as possible. I'm happy we, we get this going. And you said it'd take a year. Hopefully we can get it done earlier than that. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to be visible in the restaurant and, you know, trying to spend as much of the time as I can there. And, you know, and if somebody have a complaint, I try to go in the back in the kitchen and help him, help him fix it out if I can. Uh, it will be a perfect fall evening for trick-or-treaters across the state. Temperatures will be in the 70s on Wednesday and temperatures will be in the 60s by the time little ghosts and goblins hit the neighborhoods. Expect warmer temperatures Thursday and Friday, highs in the 80s. A cold front will move through late Friday, bringing cooler temperatures for the weekend. And state commerce employees say their office building is haunted. Employees report seeing objects flying off desks and hearing footsteps in the stairwells. Some workers claim to have heard strange voices in different parts of the building. People have heard noises in the main conference room on the first floor occasionally. It'll sound like people talk, but you really can't understand what they're saying but you'll distinctly hear either uh, male or female voices. Well, there you have it. A quick look at some of the headlines, stories, and videos you can find today on NewsOK.com. Again, happy Halloween. Make it a good one and stay with NewsOK for the latest news and information.